Welcome. Thank you for joining St. Mark's United Church online service coming to you from Whitby, Ontario. Today we start the season of creation. At this time we honour the land where we gather and acknowledge that this region of Durham is part of the judiciary and treaty territory of the Mississauga of Scugog Island First Nation and the Mississauga Peoples and Treaty Territory of the Chippewa Island First Nation. We recognize and acknowledge the rich heritage of, heritage of our Indigenous sisters and brothers in their love of and stewardship to the land and all life upon it. Psalm 19, verses 1 to 11, from Everyday Psalms by James Taylor. An underlying harmony, a delicate equilibrium built on the value of everything, binds together past, present, and future. There are no exceptions. No one is above the universal law of interdependence. Nothing stands alone. Life dies and becomes new life. Spirit and flesh are one. My life is inextricably linked to yours, and our common survival is tied to the trees and insects. This is the beginning of wisdom. It is better than wealth, more valuable than possessions. Awareness of it will change you forever. Did you know that I have something in common with Jimi Hendrix, The Beatles, Bruce Springsteen, Billy Joel, Tina Turner, and Buddy Holly? They were the opening acts for the famous for famous performers. Jimmy opened for the Monkees, Tina for Lionel Richie, and Buddy opened for Elvis, who actually kindly lent Buddy his Martin guitar for the show. I was the opening act for Reverend Patty Armstrong, and now for Reverend Deborah Elliott. But that also made me the closing act for Reverends Deb Foster and Patty Armstrong. Everything changes at some time in some way. When we gather to say goodbye, we look back at the good and the bad, but mostly the good. Once the goodbyes are done, we turn around and head out to meet the new world and all the changes that we're creating. We must look forward with hope and with love to the future. But how? We all look back to a time when things seemed easier, clearer, when we knew what to expect and hope that things would remain that way for the rest of our lives. COVID has shown that things can change fast and we must be willing to create a new normal. We all change. Life forces us to do that. We watch as the years go by and wonder what happened. If we're lucky, we embrace transformation. We watch and we celebrate the growth in each of us. We watch and welcome and mourn as people come into and leave our lives. We have watched as our church has changed over the years, going from a warm yet closed pulpit to a more open and welcome or welcoming altar or dais. We have seen the choir loft open and our hymns and prayers showing up on screens over our head. When we can sing, we sing up to God, not down to the floor. Although I still admit having a problem not bowing my head to pray. Our nave has been changed to allow for easier access for wheelchairs and a place for children to sit and color if they want to stay with their parents during the service. We've changed in many ways, but we still hold on to the past, sometimes too tightly. Well, when Brian did that, I really preferred the way John did. Krista was wonderful. I like how she... Deb and Patty were great when... Now is the time to let go of the past, to create new beginnings without our old burdens or expectations. It's time to open our hearts and our minds and our love of God without constantly looking back. 
it's time to look ahead and remember why we come here. We need to look at what we can offer and what we can change to make us a viable, living, breathing, growing church. We need to become the disciples that Jesus wanted, not just the disciples that doctrine says we should be. We need to turn our focus to the future, to turn our world around. When Harry Belafonte was the guest star in The Muppet Show, he explained the inspiration for a song he was about to perform. Fozzie asked him about it and Belafonte said, I discovered the song in Africa. I was in a country called Guinea in a little village where I met a storyteller who went back in African tradition and mythology and began to tell the story about the fire, the sun, the water, and the earth. He pointed out that the whole of these things put together turns the world around. That all of us are here for a very short time. In the time that we are here, there isn't any difference in any of us if we take our time to understand each other. The question is, do I know who you are or who I am? Do we care about each other? Because if we do, together we can turn the world around. I've shared this video before and I would like to share it again. With God's help and Jesus' teaching, nothing is impossible. We just need to make it happen. The video will be shown at the end of the service. God remains with us, though we may sing new songs and worship in new ways, though we may serve in different ways. God remains with us as we discover new things in our time together. And God's love remains with us. God is eternally for us and with us. Thanks be to God. Now may the grace of God uphold you, the peace of God surround you, the love of God flow from you. 
and the strength of God protect you as we go forth to create a new beginning. Amen.